Hello, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I'm going to be trying out four different gaming products that I just picked up from Five Below. So let's get right into this video. We'll start with the gaming headset. Now this was $5, and you know, for $5 I don't know how the quality will be. We'll see how that is. So let's just go ahead, use my trusty pair of scissors and get this cut open. I have my computer right here. Now for this headset, it will be difficult for us to test the sound, uh, like the speakers on camera. However, we will test the audio quality. So let's get this out of the box. I don't see any instructions at all inside. Now at Five Below, they actually have um, $5 gaming items as well as $10 ones, but you know, the store is called Five Below, so I thought for this video we'll try out the actual $5 ones maybe in the future. We'll see how much better the $10 items are. So let's see, we just have our standard audio jack here, which we will plug in. You know, it seems like basic construction. I can feel that the plastic is relatively cheap, but it's not super thin as I might have expected. It seems to be nicely padded around. Um, this arm seems relatively cheap. Let's see how it feels on my head. I don't know if it's labeled which side goes where. Yeah, you can actually, you can definitely feel that it's a relatively cheap headset. It doesn't really fit right to your ears. But anyhow, let's pull up some sound that I can listen to and I'll see how it is. So from testing the sound, I can tell you that, you know, the speakers do not really get that loud, so on the max volume was really seemed the best, whereas with other speakers such as my Apple AirPods, you know, putting those on the max volume is definitely way too loud for me. Um, and also putting these on like a very low volume is just way too quiet. But overall it's not that horrible. I wish they did, they could get a little bit louder because, I mean, they're not really that loud. Now let's test out how good this microphone is. Okay, this is our microphone test. Microphone test. Now let's raise our microphone here and see if that changes anything. Now this is with the microphone raised. There we go. Okay, so it appears that there's not, a mu not much of a difference when I'm speaking when this is raised or lowered. However, the quality of the sound is pretty crummy. In fact, it sounds very similar to the um, internal mic on my computer. So it's really not that great when it comes to audio recording on this, but overall for five dollars it's not that bad. I've seen worse. Um, I mean they would charge you probably like twenty dollars if you were to buy something like this at other stores, so five dollars for this is not too bad if you need a very uh, low budget gaming headset. So overall I'm pretty impressed. It's not the best, but it's reasonable for five dollars. Okay, so my gamer for five years opinion on these, for five dollars they are very good for only five dollars. I would definitely recommend these for $5. Maybe not the microphone so much, but definitely the headphone quality is definitely, for $5, it's very good. But I would recommend switching after a while if you can save enough of money. Okay, so let's see what is next. Those headphones were pretty decent, but let's try out this $5 gaming mouse. My brother seems to love buying gaming mice all the time. He always says he needs a better one. I'll tell you, I, my mouse that I use is probably like 10 years old, but I don't really do gaming, so it's not much of a problem for me. Okay, so, now his opinion is going to be much more important than mine on this, but I will tell you it feels pretty cheap. Um, actually, the quality seems even considerably worse than that headset. This plastic seems very cheap that it could break uh, pretty quickly, and um, you can hear it clicking, but... Um, I don't think this is that great. Okay, so my pro gamer opinion on this, it has four very bad feet. They are not tall at all. They are very, very small, not rubbery at all. Basically the same consistency as this plastic. And also what I noticed is it actually has a red light which most mice nowadays don't have a red light. They actually have a clear light. So I can tell right away that this is cheaper and older. Now, it says on the box that it has multicolor cycle. And it seems like it's cycling pretty, pretty slowly. And it also has 1200 DPI. But I don't see a way to change the DPI. The debounce time on this 
as you can tell, it sounds like it's drag clicking, but in reality, it's not registering any of the clicks on here. So, I would not recommend this for any game at all. Wow, oh, that's pretty harsh. But I would recommend this for office use. I would probably recommend this instead of my brother's mouse. Okay, so my brother did not seem too impressed with that mouse. But let's move on to, what do we have here? A two-pack of gaming speakers. Let's see how these are. Oh yeah, this is very cheap uh, paperboard. Now, let's see what we have here. Oh, we actually have instructions for the first time. Okay, we have this one here. These are incredibly light, incredibly light, incredibly cheap feeling. Today we are at the aquarium stop. So one thing I will say is that you probably can't see it on video, but as the sound is getting louder, the lights actually dim slightly, almost as if there's not enough power for them to produce the sound and the light at the exact same time, which is kind of annoying seeing them constantly kind of flickering a little bit. The sound quality seems not the best. It's okay. It's not the best. I will say those headphones were a little bit better. And um, even just, I have some basic speakers that I bought for, I think, 15 to $20 at Staples. They're just some basic Logitech speakers, and they have uh, much better sound than these cheap Five Below speakers. So my opinion is that, you know, go spend another $10, $15, get much better speakers that also have a much longer cable. Let's see what my brother thinks about these. Okay, so these, in my opinion, are not the best. I would definitely recommend the headphones over these for $5, especially if you're on a computer, then I would definitely recommend the headphones, not the these. But if you're on a TV and you don't have speakers for your TV, then I might recommend these. They're not the highest quality sound though. And if you're already spending en enough money on a TV, then definitely, definitely get a better speaker. So let's move on to our last gadget, which is actually kind of interesting because I've never owned anything like this before. It is a USB powered LED cooling fan. So it's supposed to keep the temperature of your computer or gaming system lower, that way it has better performance. So let's take a look at what we get for our $5. Okay, toss the box aside. It smells interesting. We also have a little instruction manual. Okay, very simple. Basically tells you, plug it in, it turns on, unplug it, it turns off. That's pretty much useless. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go ahead, we'll set my computer on here. Now, this is very flimsy feeling and the fan seems very cheap. So, I hope my heavy computer does not break this. Okay, there we go. Let's plug it in and see what happens. There we go, we have a little bit of a fan action. And um, we have some lights, actually, that are rapidly flashing. And, um, I mean, I would say that could be somewhat annoying, if you think about it. If you have rapidly flashing lights right where you're looking down or, you know, looking at your computer right there, pretty much. And I will tell you, you can feel the, the vibrations from the fan on your computer. So if you are, you know, typing or something or scrolling around... Um, I think you would definitely find that as a distraction. Oh, that is not that much air being put through there. You know, real computer fans like in my desktop PC have much better fans than this. This is a very uh, crappy fan, I will tell you. and It's not really pulling through that much air, probably because this desk is right underneath here. So it's not, you see, listen to that. You get much more airflow. When it's right on the table, you get much less. When you lift it up instantly, you get much more like a fan. But obviously, you're going to have some type of surface under here because those legs need something to sit on. So this seems like a very poor design. You do have some felt pieces here. That way, um, you know, you don't damage your computer or your table. But overall, it's a very poor design, I would say. Pretty impractical, very distracting, and just overall not even worth five dollars. Well, let's see what my brother thinks. So I'm feeling my brother's computer right now and all we have running is Word and Edge with two tabs open and it's not hot at all. 
So, I don't think you need a fan, really. But if you're running more intense um, programs like Photoshop, Lightroom, any game, or if you're on a desktop, then you should get it. But it's crap. So right now, I'm going to compare these and say what you should do with your $5. If you're going to the store just for $5 to upgrade your setup, then this mouse is excellent for the price. I would definitely recommend this. These headphones, I would give it a B. This, I would give an A minus. You hated that mouse. I love it. For $5. Keep in mind, we're talking about $5. I would get this if I was looking for a headset for only $5. Now these. This. <laughs> this, however, I would recommend for a TV. Other than that, it's gone! See you later! <laughs> so there we go. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, have a great rest of your day, and you can always subscribe below. And I hope to make some more videos soon. I will tell you, this stuff is a piece of junk. Don't buy it. It is junk. <laughs>